Hi guys, it's Ryan again from Interview Kickstart, the school where you go to work to become fundamentally a better engineer and through that get really good at nailing very tough technical interviews. One of the important things in technical interviews is pattern recognition because the question of how to recognize patterns and in doing so solve questions really fast is a very important one, right? There are ways that you can build this ability to spot patterns, right? And to be able to solve questions. Think about a chess grandmaster, right? You know, all of us have heard the anecdote of a chess grandmaster walking past a bunch of people playing a chess game and says, white kills black in three moves. Wow, how did he do that? He just passed by. It's not that the chess grandmaster went and remembered everything along the way. He saw a pattern and he was able to assess very quickly how to win the game given that pattern. And that is really how you need to be thinking about interviews. How do you get yourself to a point where you are able to recognize the patterns fast enough? Now, there are a couple of things that one can do to get to that position. Let's break it really into two parts, practice and then simulated practice, right? So let's start with practice. Practice essentially is about doing the hard work of going and practicing a whole bunch of different questions, right? In our program, for example, we typically have people work on about 250 questions, about 170 or so tend to be algorithmic, 70 to 80 tend to be on system design. That's a large set of problems which should help you get a really good base. That base is important because then you can draw on that base to start identifying patterns. But how do you identify patterns fast? That comes when practice moves to simulated practice or alternatively put deliberate practice. And that involves practicing in interview environments. Let me lay out two possible frameworks that you could use to do simulated practice. The first is when you are actually coding a question, keep a clock next to you, right? Have a clock that is running down time. Because in an interview, you are not only trying to solve a question, you're competing against the clock. When you start, it's likely that you'll stress out a bit, but that's good stress, right? If you do that enough of times, you'll start getting very comfortable competing against the clock. That's deliberate practice part one. Let's take that a bit further. The next thing you should be doing is you should be putting yourself in front of interviewers and doing mock interviews. The best interviewers to do mock interviews with are people who are actual hiring managers, right? The kind that we have at IK. But I'm sure you can find friends or people that you know who could help you with this as well. When you put yourself in an interviewing position time and again, competing against the clock and putting yourself out there, that is how you get really good at identifying what you need to solve, building on the experience of having prepared and that's when pattern recognition really kicks in. Bottom line, guys, sustained practice, going to deliberate practice, doing that for a sufficiently long period of time is really the only way that I know how one can build strong pattern recognition. And strong pattern recognition in an interview is your friend because that is what allows you to solve questions incredibly quickly. Okay.